Hi, in the previous video, we looked at how to set up scoring. So the player could collect points when finding different collectible objects um, like crystals in this 2D platformer game. Um, but at the moment, um, we don't actually have a way of displaying the score to the user. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a user interface or UI to display the score. So from the game object menu, you can go down to UI and then you can see a whole bunch of different UI elements like text, um, you could add images, buttons, um, you can add you know, drop down menus, input fields or text boxes, all sorts of different um, UI elements that you can add to the game. And when you add any of these UI elements here, if you don't already have a canvas, then what it's gonna do is create a canvas and then uh, it'll add those UI elements to the canvas. So um, the first UI element I'm gonna be adding to this game is the text so that we can display the score. So when I select text, it will add text, but um, we can also see that we've got a canvas and the text has been attached to the canvas. It's a, a child of the canvas object. And there's also an event system as well. So you should have these three different objects in the scene. I'm gonna rename the text to score text. Um, so, you know, if I add more text in uh, later on, if I add another text object, it's gonna also add, attach to this canvas. And, you know, that text might be for displaying some other information to the user, um, like a game over message or maybe health or that kind of thing. So this is gonna be called score and it's attached to the canvas. Now, the canvas, if you double click on it, um, it should focus on the canvas and you'll see there's a white box that white box is the canvas. So anything that's uh, anything like text that you want to be um, displaying to the user, it needs to be inside that white box or canvas to be visible to the user. So if I double click on the score, we can see it's down the bottom, or the score text, it's down the bottom left hand corner of the canvas and the default text when you create new text, it just says new text. So what I could do is I could use the move tool and just move it into the canvas somewhere and just test this out. We should see new text there. Okay, so it's some small text at the moment, um, but it's displaying on the canvas. So what I'm gonna do is position this text exactly where I want it to go. And I wanna position it so that no matter what type of screen the um, player is using, whether it's a wide screen or you know, maybe a different aspect ratio, bigger screen or a smaller screen, it won't matter. Um, the text is going to display um, in the top left hand corner. That's what I'm going to do. So what you can do is you can move your text roughly to where you want it to be. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here. And actually what I'll do first is I'm going to um, just um, type in the word score and a colon and a, and a space. And I'm not gonna put a value in there for the score yet, um, cause we've got a variable that keeps the score. So that'll be displayed next to that text. Um, but I'm going to just change the size here and just make it a bit bigger. So you can change the default text there. You can change the font size, font style. Um, you can change the color. So I'll just make it a little bit more visible here. So I'm not going to change any of these um, properties right now, but I can come back later and, and make this text look much nicer. Um, but what I do want to show you here is um, how you should position the text. So if you click on this box here, um, what you can do is um, basically anchor the text to an area of the screen. So I wanna anchor this text to the top left hand corner. So I'm gonna click in this box here. And what that means is um, the position that I move this text on the X and Y axis from the top left corner from that anchor point, that's gonna be the same regardless of screen size. So I'm anchoring this text to the top left hand corner. Um, and if you hold down Alt or Option, if using a Mac, a Mac you can also um, set the position to one of the corners. So I'm gonna click on the top left hand corner as well. Um, or what you can do is just, now that the text is anchored to the top left hand corner, I can just move that text wherever I want. And we can see the position uh, X value and Y value are basically, um, uh, how far away this text is from that corner, the top left hand corner of the screen. All right, so um, I roughly want the text there. So let's just check that out. Uh, 
Okay, that looks good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just save this scene. And I have two scenes or two levels in this game. So I'm currently in level one. If I open up level two, you can see that there's no uh, canvas and no text there. So there's no UI for displaying the, the score in level two. And so I want it to display in both levels. So I'm gonna go back to level one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, drag the canvas into the project panel or assets folder down here and let go. And that's making it a prefab, okay? So that means now I can just drag this into any other scene and it's gonna add that canvas and the text that's attached to it. And um, you know, the color of the text, the size of the text, the position, it's gonna be the same in that, that scene. I don't have to set that up all over again for each scene or level. So now if I go into level two and just save that level one, uh, now what I can do is drag that canvas prefab into the hierarchy in level two and double click on that to focus on it. And there it is. There's the text, same color, same position, same size, um, and the same default text there. Okay. Um, and I've added the canvas and it's added the text. I can also go to game object UI and add an event system as well to level two. So now if I just save that scene. Um, if we go between level one and level two, they both have the same UI. So they can both display um, the score. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is open up the script, um, the player controller script. And um, if we scroll down in the previous video, um, we added this block of code here. Basically what it does is detects if the player collides with a crystal. If so, we increase the score um, or the total score variable that's in the scoring script. We increase that by one. And at the moment, all that's really happening is we're just logging that score to the console. So um, the player can't see the score, but we can see the score when we're testing this game in Unity. We can see the, the value in the console. So we're gonna replace that line of code with a line of code that will um, display the score in the UI um, using that text object instead. So to do that, what you're going to need to do first is add this line of code up the top of the script. So using unity engine.ui. All right, then we're gonna need a variable for the text object. So public text, and I'm going to just call this score text. Okay, and then um, in the start method, we're going to just um, initialize the uh, text to display the current score, which when the game starts, it's gonna be zero. But um, remember this script loads again when we go into level two. So we wanna make sure that the um, when level two loads, that it can get the current score and display that on the screen there as well. So I'm gonna add the score text dot text equals. And then uh, I could just display the actual score value. All right, now that's this down here, scoring.totalScore. So I can copy that and I can paste that there. And if I was only displaying the score as a number, all right, without the actual word score and the colon and the space there, then I could add that line of code, but you'll see here there's a red underline and when I move my mouse over, it says cannot implicitly convert type int to string. So if you're just displaying the number only, what you'll need to do is um, at the end of that line, you'll need to say dot to string. And then open close parentheses. And so this integer value, the score is going to be converted to a string value before it's um, used to display on the text. So it needs to be a string. All right, um, if you're displaying the some text, so an actual string and then the number, uh, you won't really need to do that. What you can do here is just add some quotation marks, score, and then I'm gonna add a colon and a space. And then next to that, I'm going to add the actual score value. 
okay? And I don't need to convert this to a string because um, it's just being concatenated or joined to this string value here. All right, so what's gonna happen is on the screen, it's gonna display the word score, a colon, a space, and then the actual score. So like zero or one or two or so on. Okay, this line of code here, copy that and then scroll down to the collision detection code where um, it detects if the player has collected a crystal. And instead of displaying the score in the console, I'm gonna replace that line of code, and paste in the new line of code that will display the score on the, string, on the screen instead. And that's all that we need to do in the code. So you can save that script and then return back to Unity. And one more thing we need to make sure we do is in level one, click on that player object and scroll down to where the player controller script's attached. And we need to make sure that we um, link the actual score text object that's on the canvas with the score text variable that's in the script. So we can click and drag that onto there and then just save level one, open up level two and do exactly the same thing. So click on the player object, scroll down to where you can see the player controller script attached to the player object and click and drag the score text object. Just click and drag in one go onto the score text variable. All right, and save that scene as well. Um, now we can test that out. And collect some uh, points here. All right, so <laughs> I haven't actually got a way to move back up to that platform yet because I haven't added the code for the ladders, um, but currently the score's two. And when we enter level two, um, the score it still says two. And now if we go and collect this crystal here, the score increases to three. Okay, so um, that's it. So the UI is working in both levels. So now if you were to add a third level, you just need to make sure that you add um, that um, prefab, uh, the canvas prefab to that scene as well and to any scripts in that um, level that refer to that score text object. You just need to make sure that that would be linked to the scripts as well, okay? Um, there's a few ways that you could do this, but the advantage of doing it this way by making the canvas a prefab is that if you um, make some changes to the UI in one level, you can then make those changes apply to all of the levels. So if I want to change the font style and the position of the score text here, um, or I want to add some more text, um, then you know I can just easily apply all those changes uh, to the canvas or the UI in every level or every scene. Um, and if I don't want to, I can still make each scene look a little bit different, but if I want the UI to be consistent across all scenes, then it's a really easy way of doing it. Anyway, that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to look at uh, how to set up a health system for this game. Thanks for watching.